take a ride to Panic City as Julie and JJ join me on this side of the studio. So here's how it works. I'll name a player, team, or situation, and these two have to rate where it lies on the panic meter. So Julie, let's start with Steven Matz. Not the best spring. His his last spring outing was pretty good, though. Where do you put Matz on the panic scale? All right, I'm not very panicked about this. I got one. I'm chilling right now because when you got nothing, you got nothing to lose, all right? My expectations for Steven Matz are pretty low. He's like the guy in the band that plays the tambourine. You're not relying on him to get the Grammy for you, okay? So if he gets 30 starts, he goes 10 and 12. Maybe he's got an ERA in the high threes. That's all I want. And if he does suck, just make sure he doesn't suck with anyone else. Quarantine him and make sure that that's it. Well, right, Julie, Jay, I'm at? sweating it. Why? Because the Mets want to win a division title, right? The Mets are going to win a division title. You need a lot more than just a big three to top that rotation. And remember, we've been waiting for Steven Matz to live up to that potential going all the way back to that 2015 season. He's been very up and down. It's been a roller coaster ride, so far spring. I'm not freaking out quite yet, <laughs> but I'm kind of sweating a little yes. bit. Yeah, you definitely don't want a huge drop off after those first three starters. We're going to move on to Gary Sanchez. He did have a hit today, but left five on base. This comes after a rough 2018, a rough spring. JJ, where do you put Sanchez on the panic scale? I'm going to put him at a two, Justine, and the only reason this is not going to be a one is because what Gary Sanchez looked like Last year, I mean, you go back to last year, Gary Sanchez hitting under 190. Gary Sanchez, there was a debate going into the postseason. Should he be the Yankee catcher in the wild card game? I'm not going to say I'm straight chilling with Gary, but I do expect the bounce back here. Mm -hmm. He had good at bats here on opening day. So I'm going to put him in that two scale, ladies. What do we think? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I'm not freaking out at all. I'm just chilling with Gary right now. Also because, as we said, it's the first game. He's all right. He's going to have a bounce back here. I like him offensively. He's a great hitter. Defensively, sometimes a little bit suspect. Got a rocket arm, but sometimes a bit of a liability behind the plate. But this is New York, baby. You got to do something fast because if you're not in, you're in the way.